These is an old arch as you can see. There's the key in the middle. The render's holding everything up, it's absolutely solid. So repaired 1886. Can you hear me now? I'm in the van. I'm in the van. Action. We are now filming on the DJ Osmo Action 3. So hopefully the sound's good. Everything else is better than the GoPro, so hopefully the uh, microphones are better too. So there you go. We're going to start knocking the render off. If it's getting too loose, we might just run the, run the evolution saw across the render and uh, just slot it in. Make it, make it fit. So, get a trial, mate. Just run a trial across it. So, yeah, we'll stick you in time lapse and see what the time lapse is like on this bad boy. I'm not catching a bit. There's Jason rummaging in the bins, see if we can find anything. <laughs> right. All we're doing with these drills is rattling the brickwork in it. So, put a bit of slack on. It's just above where our lintel's going. And we're going there. There's a bit of steel there sticking out there. We're going to um, cut across that, basically where the lintel's going, so the, that um, bit will come out easier. So um, we've got the evolution up, and we're going to give that a quick whirl. Just a quick uh, now, mate. Yep. Through time, go see Jason. Absolutely. Right, we've cut everything out. There's our seating. We just got to bring it up to here, so we'll probably get the concrete common in here. I'm going to build this bit up. Build this up with a few bits of common and uh, build across it. These are these are a bit loose, but they're fine. We'll just wedge them back up. These is an old arch, as you can see. There's the key in the middle. The render's holding everything up. It's absolutely solid. So we're going to take this end out. Alex is out. Send this seating end out, ready for the lintel. Once that's done we're going to run across again with this evolution saw at the right height for the uh, lintel. Get the lintel in. Get it. Gob back up. <laughs> so there you go. It's going to have a quick break and we'll get back up here.
Right, we're back. Still try getting our head around how to use this camera. But as you've seen on the time lapse, <laughs> that's all cut out now. Plainly see where the other loop is now, so we just need to get our pieces cut for each end for our seating. I'm going to patch this area up here so the seat it's got something solid to sit on. And um, that bit there will have to be patched when the window comes out. And uh, yeah, the lintel's here. Jason and Alex got the lintel up. There's the arch, the original window from the So that's the arch from there to there. So it's already a small window. And then you've extended it and then you just put a bit of wood under it. We've pulled the pulled pieces of metal out, which we think probably caused the crack. But that's been cut off and that's gone. So yeah, there's um, concrete bricks there and the lintel in and then to point it and to put a couple of splits to put on the top there and then that's it that's all steady away we've got a few to do on this there's a lot of timber which is rotted behind the render so now the render's off each each when each window that happens in fact i'll put a couple of pictures in as i'm talking here now so um you'll see what we're up against uh, the next couple are about 2100 this is a 15. so once alice has got that mix done we'll get get, get our commons cut and get this put in Catch you in a bit. Three bricks, probably the strongest ones in that whole wall. <laughs> How much of a bed am I giving this? Just level with the other. Uh, that one. You gotta come down a bit because there's no bed on that, so you put you make the off your bed. Tim no bed. But I'm a, so I'm coming up to that. Level with you. No. <coughs> level what? <coughs> the inside. Inside. Put you out for a bed. I'm That's the most brick I've done for months. Two days on the trot. Need a hand, Joe, just watching. <laughs> what one do you want us on next? May as well do that. Oh, yeah. Yes, in them. The, the strong boy, I've got the strong boy out there down there. Yeah, they're down there. Yeah. Just see if the levels, oh no, the levels are down. You just go across that gap. So we're doing next, sorry. Door. Door. Which one? Door. Back? Yeah. Which one's that? There. Oh! Back side, whatever. Oh, I can see myself. Hello. Beds are on. I'm going to lift this thing in now. And then we're going to tuck points above it. Put a couple of splits at that end, but we've got this saw. We'll do that in a sec, so... to me but if you want yeah oh. okay
a fucking hole through four hours back. Yeah. You can see where Jason's done his car, you can see it all buzzing out of the back, it's done real proper. Right, I'll just show you our view from up here while we're here. Nice spot, luckily it's quite warm and not too windy. So, that's it, it's done. Well, almost done. 98% done. Right? Yeah, we've got to, you don't have to get close with this. No. So, I'll patch that little bit up, built that screw in, new seat in, new lintel, and then just patch that up. That's, that's, as I'm really doing. Cut this off, so we're packing that out. I'll just patch this end. So we've just got a little bit left to do here and a little bit left to do there. And that's finished. The uh, the crack, the crack's the crack. The crack's now safe, it's going nowhere now. That's, that's our morning done, so we're going to head down now. Just, uh, yeah. Wait till you see that lintel. But yeah, that one's done. So we're going to pack up. Get a set up down there and then go for lunch. Then I've finished it, so I'll get another mix ready and now I'll come up and get that finished. Yeah, we're only out mixing today, aren't we? Yeah. We're not really getting a mix out for today. No, it's just been nice and clean. Don't want yeah. to make it mucky again. Yeah. So, see you after dinner. Right, hopefully, oh yeah, I can see. I've got a little screen telling me the microphone's working. So, we're back on the farmhouse. Alex has been getting a mix ready. So, there's Saturday's job. That'll be, I'm not sure if that's in this video or not. That end's pointing up. Got a bit of pointing to do on the top here. Once that's patched in, we can pinch this section of scaffold here. See this little op up here? We can take this and slot it in around here. So, we're on the front today. Got two 2.1s to go in here. And it's bloody freezing. I've got my little... Um, my little pet on today so hopefully that's helping with the wind noise because it's blowing a gale it's blowing right off the no shelter here so here we go I think the render was holding this place together so yeah the bay windows have been done in the past so you see the concrete lintels in there there we go there good seating on them we've got the old window it's like a um, traditional shape right two, two little windows down front door two little windows at the top and then they've done a lot of alterations on it badly so they've just chopped they left the head in and just put a piece of timber underneath it which is rotted away which is on what 50 mil there packed on a bit of slate I and mean, it's not holding much but still 100 mil there with a looks like a concrete common underneath it so that, that's all coming out the stone head we're going to uh, score it and break it off because it's it's broken anyway it can't be saved all that taken out we've got some headers at the top supporting what's left up there and if you look there let me see i think this camera zooms in here we go I might just make out that that says repaired 1880 so if it was repaired in 1880 imagine how old it is so that's our next one there. It's a bit weird because the, the, the scaffold's set up for the renderers. <clears throat> so it's not really suitable for us. You've got like this deck that I'm stood on and it goes up. Let's zoom back out again. There you go. Yeah, there's our deck which we worked off. Alex is on our little temporary one we did. 
he's cracking on there and so this one up one over the porch and then back down again and then up again so we're probably just going to work off hop ups off this area and we can put spot bottom there yeah. but the uh, the 2.1's concrete so quite heavy well I say quite heavy I can't lift them Alex and Jason are lifting them yeah so um, that's the plan today and that side is proper ropey down the jam of the window so we're going to patch that up while we're up here so yeah I'm going to get cracking here, get a hop up and start taking all this crap out. Right, I hope you can hear this because it's windy up here. But I've just taken one of those bricks out, you see behind the phone. Alex takes the next one out, down. Yeah. Take the brick out. There you go. Cool. Great that, isn't it? I was going to say this could be where the, um, the heads were, but the head wasn't there, so it's not. It's just, I don't know. Felt it held in my phone. So we're going to take that out, patch that up, put a fresh new seat on for our Linton love with that one and patch up above and we're gonna to have to point like that as we go pointing that way because there's no other way of getting at it with this this is a 110mm load on the top of our brick it's gonna be difficult but as usual we'll get over it so back on time lapse for this last little bit and then we'll get this out probably with blue time by then That's it, it's all out. That wasn't too difficult. So we're putting back level with that that box lintel. And we're going to patch up round there for the uh, seating, the same here, patch up. I might take that out as well because I've split that. It's very rickety. But yeah, that's the, that's the plan. Build the seat up, build the season up. Jason is getting them up. And get it in. It's got a bit so there's the plaque. Repaired 1886. That's brilliant, man. I'm not sure if they're taking that out and bringing it forward. So, here's this afternoon's job. It's even worse, this one. Look at the state of that. The lintel's even worse. Wow. And this one's got plenty of repair work on the charm as well. That one's even worse down that side. Yeah, I'll we'll get this thing up and get it in. We're probably just going to get the seasons done out before break and get it up, get it lifted in after break. So it's gone off a little bit. So I'll catch you after break. And we're back. So Alex has done that side. I'm the pointer man today. Yes. Just throwing a few, few of the gaps. Obviously you can't really point the whole thing. You'd never Maybe stop. You'd, stop. <laughs> you'd end up re-rendering it. Yeah. yeah. Just getting the bits under the, uh, under the seating so it's a bit stronger. Yeah. It's, um, it's all very loose. But it's like if you start taking the loose ones out, you, you, you take the whole thing down. So you've just got to put that out of your mind and repair what you've got. So I've just, this has just got into the, the bigger gaps. A couple of commons in, a couple of pieces of slate level with that, that lintel there. So it doesn't drop, obviously, because this is wet. This is a 21 inch lintel, which is a heavy bastard. So, um, yeah, we've added this plank. We've got these little pop up extensions for the internal. So we pitch this from around the corner. There's only us working up here. So that gives us some way to lift it up because the scaffold dropped off there. So I'll just stand up there. I'm just going to have the dodgy end. Thanks. Yeah, so get this in, and then we've got to put, put the bricks in from the end and point them from the end. I think I've already said that, but anyway. Yeah, 
Let's put you on time, that's why we get this in. Welcome back to a windy house in the country. We're done. We've not filmed the last hour or so, probably a couple of hours. We really struggled with that, but we've managed to get it done. Very awkward trying to get the bricks up there. It's always near the flat, the flat bucket trowel and get it, just putting it up like that and just getting in bit by bit. You couldn't tuck it in with the top points like you normally do we like to do and get it nice and tight we've just got it as best we could because it, like I say it's nine inch wall so the other the other skin's doing all the work this is just sealing everything up and making it all safe and obviously getting rid of the timber you can't render render over timber like that it needs to be out I'll actually need to start on this head this one's a lot tougher the other one came out with a lump hammer this one's like PL this one's taller for a start it feels thicker yeah yeah so um Alex is going to go down there and start tidying up that area and I'm going to take over this end. So, yeah, you jump up. Okay, I'll, I'll stay here for an hour and then if you drag it through for me. And then if you um, Get the board set up. Yeah. Anyway, it's out. It did go right up to the headers, so it's solid. Big old piece that. So, same again. We're gonna, that side's fine, so we're going to bed off that. A couple of pieces to get in there. This side is a bit worse, so we've got that for our setting. And then this was a bit ropey, so I've took all the foam out. And it's more. it was like this more or less all the way down, so I've took a few extras out to get a decent key in. You've got your headers here. Um, headers there. I think. But anyway, just give us a bit of an extra key. I might just bring it in just a little bit more. Yeah, so I'm going to get this patched up now and get the seating ready and hopefully get the lintel in today. We're not going to get it patched over the top today. It's bloody awkward that. So we'll get this a little bit patched up and then by that time we can get out, out to Jason to get the uh, lintel up.
Right. Do you want to take it out and we'll do it again? Yeah. We missed that, so we're going to take it out and redo it. <laughs> yeah, we've just got these duck planks doubled up here to get it in. Because all the scaffold's set up for the just like I say. It's all wrong for us. So th these are just here temporary so we can get it in. And now we can start patching up. We've got a bit of more, enough left to patch up to here and get it secure tonight. Um, the, uh, I don't think. Yeah, we'll look at that. It's bang on, bang on level with that one. The top's way out. Like this, this, this sprinkles deeper than this. How about 20 mil? So yeah, I'm gonna get these two pieces in and get it like gobbed up and see how much water we get left after that, and then maybe get a few over the top if we can. Jason, Jason keeps pinching the water tonight. Our last mix. So yeah, I managed to put it down on my hand, so you missed that. Um, yeah, let's get these in. Right, double double intro. Good morning. Right. We didn't get finished yesterday because I ended up more awful than we thought. So you might just see the lintels in. Oh, let's come round here. Nice outside toilet. Yeah, that one's in. So that one was awkward getting back in. This one was awkward getting out because it's three quarters of the way it was a stone head. It was a big stone head. It went from the on top of the timber until right up into the headers. It was thicker and it was a lot tougher. So that set us back. But we managed to get all the patching done around the side. Did the whole side. That side's okay. And we got the lintel in, that bedded in, so that's ready for later. So instead of putting a little mixing and patching that up, we're um, prepping these two windows. Same again, taking all the foam out, taking all the little ones out, and then taking the odd one out to extend the um, toothing in so it's nice and strong. That one's not too bad, but it will need a bit of fettling, especially at the bottom. Alex here, because um, he's already been on this side. You see, it's all nine inch, so it's pretty straightforward. That's all ready to go. So once we've got this side done, we can. Um, We can get a, get a mix in. Then we've got plenty to go out. Then we've got three windows and a lintel to, to yeah, three two windows and a lintel to go out. So, so give you to Alex a minute. Let's see if we'll do a mic test. One two one two. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I'm in van. I'm in van. Can you hear me now? Well, hopefully that worked. So there's our battle plan. We're gonna get these windows stripped. I've already started on one, as you've probably seen. Yeah, we'll get started on this I hope one. They're now. working. Otherwise, then this will all be cut. Hopefully, this lintel arrives and we can get started on that window, and then we'll get cracking on. Point in there and then just got that on, tie that side up. Same way, a few more to go in that side. And that side ready to. Jason, Alex is hiding the chimney rest. I'm just going to pick that up, flush. I don't want that anymore, just want the flat wall. There's the outside of it. And it's a, it, 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 
tumbles in back to the house up there. Just see the scaffold is, so it goes up and in. Everything else is gone, chimney stack's gone, the, 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 the stack inside's gone, and the fireplace is all gone, so they're just going to block that hole up. So they can plaster the whole wall straight. What a day! What a day! Anyway, I've had a little fettle up here, had a look, and it works out three quarters of brick tight, so I won't be able to get the top bed in. So, I've been around the back and cut a load of off cuts. These are off cuts to bed anyway. And then, I put them down to 125 because I like to have a decent sized bed, 15 20 mil. To actually get the mortar in, too tight, you'd never get it in. So Alex just passing these up to me now. I'm going to get this in and I'll, uh, I'll show you around later what we've been up to. Last filmed. A bit of that, a bit of this, a bit of that. It's um, called polishing a turd, but it's already rendered. And it's, how do you follow that? Just copy it. So, um, yeah. done this one had a lot more work on it um, we've got another window to do but we're not coming back tomorrow because our insulation arrived on the extension job so we're going back there tomorrow to get the, get the slab prepped and do a bit more digging in preparation around the outside of it and we'll probably get a load of brick loaded out actually and get them covered up with our brick jackets so um you know it will be a busy day tomorrow and then we're going to come back here Thursday Alex has got an appointment at the hospital so he won't be in. I'll be um, I'll be here on my own. Well, I'll be here with Jason, but um, Jason can help me lift in with the uh, the big lintels. We're doing a lint around the far side over the kitchen. Because the kitchen's going in soon, so they need the kitchen window in so we can plaster it. So that's the plan. Get that done, and that's Thursday. The weather's going to be iffy. But we'll be working under the scaffold, so we can always put an eight before sheet over the scaffold. Give us a bit of shelter. And it's only little, so I'll just have to man up and work in the rain right now. So yeah, I'll put you back on time lapse now while we get the rest of this in. Just catch you in a bit. Hopefully this mic's working, so we're done. Another awkward one. As you can see, it's damn awkward getting up there behind a facial wall and then there's like a lip of render that hangs down just enough to stop you getting your travel in, so you've got to go up behind the render. Behind that ridge and get it in there. It's rock hard. Yeah, so do the cuts I did. And then just a bit of patching up at the end here to level it all up. Polishing a turd. 
but that's the way it is. It's all going to get rendered over again. So that's the front done. That done. Patch around the front windows. There's three sides are done down there. One there. One down there. And the left hand side of that other window down there. Just make out the, the roof there. And then Alex has been inside and bricked up the chimney st chimney breast, which I'll show you when I go down. But for now, it's just have a quick brush up. And we're done. Next lintel is around the side, next to the door we did. And that's going to be Thursday on the bad day when Alex isn't in. So yeah, let's get tidied up and get off home. So that could be the next video. If, it's, if it is, it is. If it's not, it's not. I'll uh, get out to do an outro at some, some point. Speak of the devil. So, quick tidy up and skedaddle. Well, it seems that we forgot to film an outro again. So, from my room, <laughs> thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell for notifications. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. That's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate all the support you guys give us. This has been Brooklyn with Steve downstairs and Alex from his room. We'll see you in the next video.